got this need for you If you get closer, I can whisper in your ear And if you want to walk away I know the world's gonna want to hear Tammy Baldio is a young singer who stars with a band called For the Love of Music of Flo. Size vocalist is among several local entertainers making a name for herself in a field many consider more of a hobby than a career. She sings for a living. As a new generation storms Grenada's music scene, rising on the harmonious rhythms created by drums, guitars, keyboards, and vocal styles, we examine a music industry we have taken for granted. An industry that's slowly carving out a niche, rivaling agriculture and rising from the stagnation of appreciation only in festive seasons. A publication titled The Caribbean Music Industry by the Caribbean Export Development Agency 2001 suggests that there is a window of opportunity in the realm of cultural industries for Caribbean economies. The music sector is one of the largest cultural industries and makes a significant contribution to the world economy. The rate of growth for this sector during the 1980s and 1990s was between three and five times more than the growth rate for the world exports. Closer to home, there have been few studies of the music industry from an economic standpoint, despite the fact that a large number of developing countries have been involved in the production and export of music. The Caribbean's music industry remains largely undocumented, with a few notable exceptions like studies by Bourne C. and S.M. Algrove 1997 and Watson P. 1995. Bearing this in mind, it begs the question, What's happening with the music industry in Grenada? Dita Buckhalter is the owner of La Faible Marina, a place that has made a name for itself in providing quality live band music. He is the band leader manager for Flom or for the love of music. Dita came to Grenada nine years ago and found that the country was flooded with talent but no opportunities or support for them. Uh, I quite quickly I, I recognize there's a lot of talent around, really a lot of talent. But the problem is, talent is only one thing. You need to to make something going, like like a painter without paint. And so you need also like uh, to make music. You need instruments. You need possibilities to play. Then you need also other people supporting music. And I think the most important thing is that you need people want to hear live music. Grenada's music scene is changing fast, almost as if a tsunami has passed, leaving behind an unrecognizable landscape. The music sector here may have changed forever. The art form is gaining a higher level of appreciation to the point where young people are exploring it as another alternative to the traditional choices of teacher, lawyer, doctor professions, but now vocalist, drummer, guitarist. Let's meet some of these game changers. I play guitar, um, I dance, I've done a little acting. Um. Most, peop most people who know my name would know associated with singing. That's what I like to do. I also play the guitar and um, yeah, I sing a lot. I like reggae, I like pop, I like R&B, I like opera. A lot. I used to sing opera before. I don't so much. Anymore. When you're being haunted by your past. I started singing since I know myself, but professionally, or doing it on a stage, I've started like this year. The first time I did it was actually last old year's night. That was the okay. first time. So I've been singing for you could say one year. Well, I have started from since the age of eight, right? I haven't been, well, on stage at eight, but I have, have had a passion for singing for such a long time. 
and you know I've just been sing freestyle singing at the age of eight but on the stage at the age of 13 so when I first got my breakthrough there appears to be a growing thirst for live music and hotels are not the only places where performances occur. The bar scene and even private sector functions have added the flavors of sweet band music. Mr. Burke Halter, who is also a hotelier, continues to host a number of musical events like Life on the Beach, Life on the Carinage and the popular dinghy concerts. So I like to know where you got the uh, actually, it started with the Dinky concert. It was like my, my personal wish to uh, combine uh, uh, two things I really like, that's sailing and music. So I, I come up with this uh, uh, idea to do a concert out in the sea, and the only access is by boat. And so uh, we did the first one, I, I think it's about five years ago, and it was uh, quite, quite a success, and we did now already 26. And it's a very nice concept because it's, it's out on the water and each band, they have to uh, do a special song which has a, a connection to Grenada, like a, a, a special song about Grenada or change the lyrics. And this song we record properly and put it on YouTube. But on a larger scale, Grenada is preparing to host for the first time what is being coined the Pure Grenada Music Festival. It's one of the initiatives coming out of the rebranding of the country's tourism product to Pure Grenada. Other initiatives are the Chocolate and Nutmeg Festivals. Pure Grenada Music Festival is carded for April 2016 and will feature four major events alongside other smaller shows. It's the kind of platform that local musicians need to not just showcase their talent but to draw visitors in. Well, Grenadians can expect um, some, some huge international names. I think we've already announced a couple of them at the launch. Um, Itana, reggae artist, Still Pulse will be returning to Grenada. Angelique Kijo, world music musician, she's coming also. And there, there are a couple of others. Um, we are kind of holding back. We are, we are releasing the names incrementally as we move along, create some suspense. But it will be unlike anything that has been done in Grenada before. Um, artists who have never been in Grenada before, who people did not think would be coming to Grenada. And um, we are also tuning it with, with the local talent that we have. So on every night that there is a major international act, there will be local Grenadian talent on showcase also. Former Tourism and Culture Minister, the Honorable Alexandra Otway Noel, believes Grenada has come a long way in positioning itself as not just the spice of the Caribbean, but as an attraction for entertainment as well. Grenada has gained so much attention on the world stage and bringing people here to, to participate in, in this venture is going to be relatively easy, I think. And looking at the, the acts, I'm so excited. I'm trying to already figure out how many of these shows I can attend because they're all going to be fantastic. What a wonderful, wonderful thing this is. During the early stages of planning for the Pure Grenada Music Festival, the committee, which was formed nine months ago, undertook a survey of the industry on the island. And preliminary findings show there are a few key things that must be addressed if the sector is to move forward. The infrastructure, um, in equipment, um, the, the ease of bringing in equipment in, into the country, getting proper equipment, um, equipment for recording studios, for band, for bands and so on. Um, there's also the issue of Epley. Um, a lot of the local acts feel that there, there is not sufficient Epley on the local radio stations. Obviously, there's an abundance of it now during the carnival season and then once outside of the carnival season, there is, there is a, a removal of that. There's also the challenge of copyright and an effective copyright system, an effective copyright regime that can look after the interests of the local acts um, so that you know, every, every six months, you know, people whose music is, uh, is popular and, and whose music is playing can actually look forward to, to collecting some kind of, some kind of remuneration from, from, the, from, the, um, from the talents. People who want to go out and listen to music because if they, there's the awareness that live music is really something very valuable and something nice for 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 country for the culture and appreciate it so people go out and listen to music then that's great because then you have an audience to play for 
and I think that's, that's the main thing. Despite these challenging factors, players in the industry are seeing positive growth and development in the music sector. They are hopeful that it can only get better from here. From since I've, I've started, I've been having a good response. I can't, I can't say that it hasn't been good for me, but I know my mom used to sing Calypso uh, a long time ago, and really the interest in live performance would have only been around carnival time. And now live music have been like on the rise. From ever since I started, live music has been growing. I'm seeing the local participation in the crowd a lot more than what it has been two years ago, or probably when my mom was singing. I feel like... Before, it was just everybody in the little corner, everything was a secret, but now everybody's out there trying to make music and showing that this could actually be a real career. This is an option you have in life. Frankly speaking, currently, things are better than before. I mean, as a musician who has been actively in the music industry we needed for the past about three to five years, it can be better. It can be much better, but um, there is, very slow development, but at least there is development, you know. Um. Well, I'm happy to see that everybody's coming out of their little shells and, you know, doing what they love. The fact that we are all very passionate, like people talk about the talent on the island, and it also is a matter of having passion and really going after it. So as long as we keep on keeping on, we're going to get where we need to get. I just want all our artists to be out there and showcasing their talents. We need to... People need to hear us. We need to the support and we need to get out there. So I'm looking for lots of um, local talents and basically that. Grenada, famous for its nutmegs and spices and sandy beaches, is slowly building a reputation in the music industry as raw potential is honed and nurtured as part of a new movement, a new revolution. State of Affairs, I am Abigail Mackey.